Chapter 2, Lesson 8, Model Mixed Number Division. Our learning objective is you will use pattern blocks and draw pictures to model division of mixed numbers. If you do not have pattern blocks, you can just draw the models um, to keep up. Investigate. So you're supposed to have pattern blocks for this. A science teacher has one and two-thirds cups of baking soda. She performs an experiment for her students by mixing one-sixth cup of baking soda with vinegar. If the teacher uses the same amount of baking soda for each experiment, how many times can she perform the experiment? So first we need to think, what operation should we use to find the answer and why? Okay, so the answer would be division. And that's because we're finding the number of six. We're finding the number of one six that we can get out of um, one and two thirds. So what we can do is we can use pattern blocks to show one and two thirds. So we'll draw the model. So a hexagon is one whole and a rhombus, if we think a rhombus, it's going to be one third of a whole. Okay, so they've drawn one whole and now to draw, and your models do not have to be perfect, I'm going to draw one third. Whoa, that was not good at all. So I have one third and then there we go. Two thirds. Theoretically that's supposed to look like the two of that. But we're not artists, and that's okay. So what type and number of blocks did you use to model one and two-thirds? We used one hexagon and two rhombus. Okay, step, or step C is to cover one and two-thirds with blocks that represent one-sixth to show dividing by one-sixth. So draw our model. So I'm going to go back up here to this hexagon. And if we had already broken it into thirds, and then again, bear with me on my model here. So that's my two-thirds. If I were to break those into six, I'm going to break each of those thirds into halves and get triangles. So I'm thinking one triangle block represents one-sixth of a whole because there's one, two, three, four, five, six of those triangles that fit in that hole. So to think about how many I have in all, I had six there, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten triangle blocks cover one and two-thirds. So one and two-thirds divided by one-sixth equals ten. So the teacher can perform the experiment ten times. Through the draw conclusions, I'm just going to read the answers. I'm not going to write them all down so you don't have to wait for me to write them. But so our, uh, it says to tell how our model shows a related multiplication problem. So it shows that 10 groups of 1 6 is 1 and 2 thirds, or you could take 10 times 1 6 to get 1 and 2 thirds. Describe relationships. Suppose a mixed number is divided by a fraction between 0 and 1. Is the quotient greater than or less than the dividend? So the answer is going to be greater than. Since you are finding how many groups of a number less than 1 there are given in a mixed number, 
there would be more groups than that mixed number. For example, two and a half divided by eight represents the number of eighths in two and a half. Since one eighth is less than one, there are more groups in one eighth in two and a half than groups of one in two and a half. So basically, we're just saying that we're making smaller numbers to fit into there. Make connections. You can use a model to divide a mixed number by a whole number. Naomi has two and one-fourth quarts of lemonade. She wants to divide the lemonade equally between two pitchers. How many quarts of lemonade should she pour into each pitcher? So we're dividing two and a half divided by two. So we're going to draw a model that represents the total amount of lemonade. So we're going to divide three holes into fourths. So we're going to shade two and one fourth. So these are going to equal holes. Each of these is one hole. Okay. We're dividing each of those into fourths. We're shading two and one fourth. So this is one hole. two holes, and one of that four. And then step two says to draw the parts that represent the amount in each pitcher. What are we trying to find? We're trying to find how much is in each of two groups. Because remember, she is dividing equally between two pitchers. So now we're going to think in each of the two equal groups, there is what? So we're thinking we need to break these into two separate groups. So I know that there was one hole here, so that can be one group. And then there was one hole here, so that can be two groups. Now I have this one fourth left that I need to break evenly into two groups. So I'm going to break that one in half. So I know one-fourth divided by two is one-eighth. So in each of the equal group, there is one whole and one-half of one-fourth. One-half of one-fourth, I just told you, is one-eighth. So one-fourth divided by two equals one whole and one-eighth. So now we should pour one and one-eighth quarts of lemonade into each pitcher. Just a reminder what our objective was today is that you will use pattern blocks and draw pictures to model division of mixed numbers. If you didn't understand something, please ask your teacher so she can clarify for you.